was it the right decision by the North Sea Transition Agency to look at this two-year extension of the Cambo oil fields, oil fields licence? Well, domestic gas and oil from the North Sea is a, about half our domestic supply at the minute. And that should continue, and no one questions that strategy. The longer-term extraction picture for all fossil fuels around the world has to be, of course, governed by well, You say that, objectives. but at the same time, Labour has previously opposed the development of uh, the Cambay oil field, and you're talking about a windfall tax in the North Sea as well. You know, if you were looking at this, you might think that actually Labour isn't that happy about the idea of well, using oil and it, gas it's got to be governed by, in the small, in the short It's got term. to be governed by the Committee on Climate Change. There's no point as a country having is noble that right? objectives. Is that right? Does it? Is that, is that what you yeah, think? Yeah, absolutely. So you think the priority should be achieving net zero opposed to bringing bills but down? There is no point this country having a ambitious climate strategy if we're not going to stick to it. And of course... E even I if people face huge, huge like difficulties with paying their bills, even if people are having to turn off their heating. Well, let's be clear, more domestic supply is about the security of that supply, it's not about the price. The price is set by the global market price for that. So even if we, for instance, wanted to go down the route of, of extracting a fundamentally larger amount of oil and gas from the UK, that wouldn't affect the price. The only way to affect the price is to focus on energy efficiency, so people are using less, is to switch to uh, domestic cheaper, electrification of heating. So it's very important 